Hello everyone, this is Rashmi and in this session I am going to explain about the second most important question that is always arise in the interview room and the most important topic and the most important second topic without this topic knowledge you cannot do any program in your life also there is no meaning of java without this topic this topic name is none of the non static members non static members and they are and their control control flow friends this is this is the most important topic starting non static constructor jbeam architecture and uh, those topic are main topic the base topic if you don't have any idea you don't have if don't have any idea about those topic then sure i am 100% sure that you are not able to write a single code you are not able to write a single code in this java line okay this is most important topic non starting member before i am going to the topic i give a give something that is helpful to you that actually what if what is uh, what is member what member are called what member are called non static non static members what members are simple question is what member are called non static member the answer is very simple answer is that the class level member which doesn't have static keyword those creation in the creation statement is called non static members simple definition is that what is the definition class level variables class level variables are called members class level variable member doesn't have static keyword in its creation statement creation statement are called are called what non static or non static members members are variable you can call us variable or member i think point is this point is valid okay this is the point you have to remember that means if i going to syntax suppose i write static and i equal to suppose declare a variable this is called static variable because in this variable static were present in the creation statement then what is a non static variable non static variable simple right without static keyword whatever you write this is called non static here is see this is a non static this is non static because in the creation statement in the creation static i, I don't use the static keyword okay i don't use the static keyword so this is non static video this point is clear to you now the class level variable or member doesn't have any static keyword basically the keyword is in the creation statement are called as non static members then uh, java support how, how many non static members how many non static members how many non static members or you can call up types of type of uh, non static members you can call it you can call by this name also answer is that java support java support for non static members the support for non static members what are those what are those those are yes those are first one is non static non static variables first one non static variable second one is non static blocks third one is non static method and fourth one is in very important constructor fourth one is constructor 
these four members java support non static members okay these four members java support first is static variable non static block non static method constructor okay then what is a non static variable i have already explained about suppose so, like without static you are declare any variable this is called non static here is example suppose example is that i have declared int a equal to 10 without creation statement i am not using i am not using static keyword or not so that this is called non static variable okay fine then what is the non static block block non static mean block simple open bracket and close bracket simple open bracket close bracket is called this is called non static blocks okay this is example of non static block i think you got a clarity okay what an idea then uh, then what is a non static method the method which are which is contain or which, which has having and which are having in the creation statement which are having a creation statement without static keyword without static keyword the method are created is called non static method suppose i declare word m1 open bracket close bracket this is called non static method this is called non static method because in this method there is no static keyword use without using static keyword those methods are created so those are called non static method and what about constructor constructor means the class name and the method name is if it is same this this method is called constructor suppose you have a class suppose i have a class class name is example okay i have a class class name is example in the example in the example i have a method i have a method suppose yes i have to see you in format they easily understand i open my edit class java yes example i have created an example class in example class suppose i declare a method static i have declared non static variable here. how i create a non static variable simple right int x equal to suppose 50 this is called what is called this is called non static non static variables this is called non static variables not idea no this is called non static variable and if you created a um, block then open bracket and close bracket this is called what this is called non static block suppose i here i write logic some logic yes uh, here i write non static block same sort from non static block okay this is also called non static block what is called non static block okay then if you want to create a method of non static method then how to create simple right without without static keyword those methods are created those are called non static methods suppose i create a method void m1 method open bracket rest on logic here i declare non static method in essence non static method simple i execute here i think i write better to understand static and this method and this is called non static simple block okay this is called yes this is called non static copyright okay. you got an idea now this is called non static variable this is called non static block this is called non static what non static method then what about constructor constructor means the class name and the method name is same here is a class name is example and so i have to declare example class example open back close bracket method name also example if you write this is called this is called as what constructor this is called as constructor because reason that constructor means the class name and method name is same here is class name example method name also example so this is called constructor got an idea or not you get my point or not whatever i want to say you understand or not simple point you have to just remember easily remember, easily pointed okay 
then question is arrived arrows here uh, then um, when do those members get memory then when those members are kept memory okay question is that uh, when the mem members are get memory simple that they are get memory in object table let's remember the non static variable or non static block or non static non static variable non static block always always members or construct those are non static things are get memory when class loaded jvm not this is not class loaded by jvm this is a static variable static method but non static is that when object creation object creation happen uh, all the four members that are explained non static variable non static block non static member constructor get memory location when object is created when object is created then get memory class loaded okay and the constructor of the class jvm will not provide memory jvm will not provide location on those more by default by itself jvm does give does not give the memory after this you have a question that the question is all about if I, if you modify one object data to do another object data it will be modified that is the question listen carefully if you modify if i modify one object data will it another object be modified will it another object modify simply write the questions here i write the questions okay if one object is you can say object data is modified if i want to modify will sorry another object data object data modified or not this is a question always you have to ask that this is a question simple the answer is no simple the answer is no here is the answer is no reason modifications cannot done for one object modification cannot done by one object will not affect it will not affect it to another object if you are doing object modification that will affect by this object not to another object because non static non static object are specific to one object the static variable are common to all object but it is specific to one object okay because you changes the object data using the reference variable a reference variable to, for reference variable you can change simple i have a good example i open Yes, edit plus. Okay, I open it. I declare a class. Class name. Suppose I declare. This is a um, class in which I give a name. Suppose I give a name. Uh, test one. That is an example. Test one. The test one example. I have declared. Suppose two non-static variable. One is end x equal to ten. Another variable int y equal to twenty. Two thing I declare non-static variable int x equal ten int y equal to twenty. Okay, basic. Okay, this is the structure of a class. It is open bracket close bracket is the uh, scope of the class and main scope is this open bracket this close bracket. I think you got it in a point. Okay, this is clear. Then in the class I have created in the class. Suppose I have created um, two object. You know that um, to, uh, how non-static variable or non-static method or non-static block or non-static automatic executed, but it is by with the help of creation object. Without creation object, you cannot call those things. Those can be you no know, get memory. The simple I have created uh, object. How it is created? Class name. Class name is here test. All these first letters capital. Oh shit! Sorry. Okay. I give a class name of test one. Suppose this was T one. Okay. 
I also give T not confusion with test T is equal to new keyword is creating object test one and this is this how object created here T here T here T is object reference T is object reference and new keyword is create here the object here the object I think you got a clear idea this is how then I have created another object with class name also same t1 object and here I give the name of the reference variable suppose t2 equal to new test one here and this is the object I created I uh, and I want to access I want to read the value of non-study variable x or you know how I read the value if I want to try read the value simple you have to do one thing by using the reference variable you can access it uh, first reference variable t or first object t1 I write x okay and I write something like that yes this look at this observe just observe what I write okay and uh, save it and save it uh, yes um, save whatever folder you have got it suppose I have saved my folder in D drive for Java creator and plus this is edit plus applications it is beautiful applications for doing um, you know anything you can do it here very easily you can write code it is good compile anything I hit enter I want to try compile I just press control one it is plus application provide a features that is easily compile control one if you want to need this how how it does work then give me a comment uh, comment in the video section then I can uh, make a video of how to download and config the it plus so okay see here is uh, code is compiled there is no compile time error and it also execute see the output 1020 you see object object 1 t object t is I read the value of x y okay then I want to read same thing I want to read second object variable value with reference value t2 here is t2 uh, t2 is second reference variable okay second reference variable then compile simple compile it it is compiled there is some compiled and execute it here answer is equal you get 1020 there is no changes of a variable reading value when you are trying to read the value the answer is same 1020 see first object refer reference t when you call the read the value t1.x answer you get 10 t1.x 10 t1y 20 okay then t2.x uh, 10 t2.y 20 same answer is here there is no difference then i want to modify the value as for a given if i modify one object value then another object value is affected or not so simply i want to modify second object t2 object t2 dot x i write like that 50 and i modify t2 dot y equal to suppose 16 okay then i write same code whatever i write with this uh, in the line and copy and paste see here you have to consider that whenever i try to modify t2 object that at time t1 object not affected the value is not changed reason that every object has one priority and they doesn't change by other object change okay see here is your output compile simple compile there is no compile time it is easily happily code compile and execute it see the output 5060 you get a 5060 see here you get answer 5060 but in the previous line 1020 that means uh, t1.x not uh, after modification one object another object not affected another object not affected that means you can change modify but there 
another object not affected if one object is modified or it changes the value or uh, changes the uh, given type value then it is not affected to other okay then see the jvm architecture then how it is possible jvm architecture is a very important topic i give a jvm architecture under okay i use simple i open uh, i open my pant to explain you that how it is work here here is my pant first of all jvm architecture simple right here okay this is my jvm suppose as as on that this is my jvm okay in the jvm you know this is my jvm okay then in the jvm i have three three areas suppose one is called as method area okay one is called as method area here is method area second one is called as heap area okay then third one is called java stack area this is 3a layer okay i write here jvm architecture okay sort from the jvm at arct okay you have to remove architecture first layer is called first first box is called method method area in short method area second box is called heap area in short h a in short h a and last one is java java stack area java stack okay java stack area this is three layers or three boxes then how did it execute how to execute jvm execute simple first thing is that class in main method um, class is loaded test class uh, test, uh, test class test class is loaded here test class is manually loaded okay after loading that here it is here it loaded okay loaded then then what is happening then in test class whatever the static variable non static variable manually present it load simply it load here it load Suppose this is x non-static variable and the y non-static variable and suppose main main method main string array as it is present or not in the main method. Okay, test code. Then what is happening in background after doing that? Then in Java stack area main method execute main okay main method Java stack area main method execute and and it created a memory. It created memory. Okay, when you create object, it started. Suppose I have a created object. Okay. Yes. Here, suppose I created object, and the object name is first. First object is what? T. The object created. Then how it is possible? How it created backgroundly? Backgroundly, it created a box, memory box. In memory box. Okay. In memory box, it divided two types. Divide two type because there are two variable. Okay, first variable is x, second variable is y. Okay, first variable is x, second variable is y. Simply I write here I write x, here I write y. Okay, first it is default value. Is total default value? What is the default value? Default value is zero. Store the default value. Okay, default value. Then after initial after initialization, default value changes to ten. As a given x is equal ten, y equal twenty. Then what is happening in background? Simple. X value changes. Y value also changes. Changes to what? Yes. X value changes to Ten. Why? Here, 
x value changes to 10 and y value changes to 20 after changing that and store the object reference here is the object reference what suppose the object reference is 10 10 the object reference 10 10 here is the object reference is 10 10 and the object reference store in the t variable t object reference variable 10 10 and finally it is pointing to the object finally it pointing to the object here is the object here is point okay i think you got a clarity okay this is pointing the object Then I just first of all whatever I create second time also created second uh, second time whenever I create a second object object T two object then first my object box is created with the uh, object of object, object reference uh, the reference T two T two and uh, the non static variable get initial uh, it, uh, initialize the default value. It is a non static variable, those are initialized with default value. Yeah, uh, x, y, I mean, default value is uh, 0, 0. Default value 0, 0. Okay, then I write here, suppose x here, I write y, and it has own object reference variable value, suppose 20, 20. Suppose 20, 20, 20 present here. Okay, 20, 20. Then here 0, first of uh, default value, here also 0. After initialization, 0 is re uh, replaced with 0 is replaced with 10 and y is replaced with 20. Simple x will turn y equal to 20, that means. 0 is replaced with 10 and y is replaced with 20. Okay, then at this point in uh, present the object, ref uh, the reference variable value stored in the t2 variable. Okay, address location, address you can call, you can call better way address, address of this object store and is pointing to this object. It is pointing to this object okay then second i have uh, in the here i see you uh, t2 to x is equal to 50 and t2 to y is equal to 60 that means in the t2 object i i changes the modification in, in the t2 object then uh, that was not affected to t1 or t then how it is that means it here t two dot x means read x value store x value in t2 pointing object that means what store x value in t2 pointing object uh, store x value t2 pointing object well. this is the object is pointing that means it is replaced with 50 it was replaced with 50 and it also replaced with 60 then here is the answer what you have a broad answer 50 above is 60 that means modification have effect but modification doesn't affect to the other it is affected 2020 object reference address object reference variable address but this is not affected to this one so, so that this is the actually JVM architecture how JVM work how JVM work in the background okay this is basically of two things okay uh then uh there is uh, two reference variable based on the value it has okay there is two reference variable that has value to hatch one is null uh, reference variable and object reference variable okay null reference variable is null reference variable is called null reference variable simple the null reference variable that is called null reference variable it doesn't have point uh, it doesn't have point non static variable or non static method. Suppose if you have an example, I have an example. Example E1 
all the reference equal now simple this is called all the reference so this is how it is executed here e is to contain a box and in the box in all store okay. this is all now okay. i think uh, in this video enjoying a uh, lot in the next session i am explaining about the explaining about the, the error that is called class name other the hash code secondly i have explained um override to uh, to string method about and some real type example and some program then i move to traffic block the name of this so this is all about today class thank you for watching and if you have any doubt you can comment me in the comment section okay thank you for watching my video thank you to all